Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Bruce Art Watercolors. Today I wanted to take a quick look at a brush I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, every week or two they have their brushes like their brand, the Master's Touch, half off. So I picked up a few different ones for me to try out and compare to what I currently have. So this is the um, acrylic and watercolor. I believe that they labeled this one as synthetic squirrel and it had the black handle and the size was three slash zero yeah so synthetic squirrel size three slash zero now the size i'm really not sure what the size means <clears throat> i've looked around online and different sites seem to have different things for example a one seems to be one millimeter for one brand while a zero might be one millimeter for another brand. So I'm really not sure what the zero is in reference to for them. But regardless, I'm gonna compare it to my silver black velvet number one script liner. Okay. So this one half off, what, a dollar seventy-five, two dollars. We'll see how it is. So with both of them, I'm just going to use some watercolor paper and just uh, see how long the line is and how thin the line is. All right, so I made a soupy mix of raw sienna, and I'm going to try it with the Master Touch. We'll see what it looks like. So MT, Master Touch. And this is not going to show up good for the camera, so I think I'm going to mix up another color of Rossiana, but let's just see how it is for the silver black velvet. That is showing up better. Let me pause it. Let me switch colors. All right. I have a soupy mix of alizarin crimson. So let's try that out. Let's see how that shows up. Then with it, and I'll bring these close to the camera in a moment. So that was the Master Touch. Here is the Silver Black Velvet number one. Let's see how thin I can get with it. Okay. We'll do one more on another piece of paper. All right, so now I have a mix of kind of um, ultramarine. We'll see how that goes. Let's see how thin I can get. Thicker with it. I'll do another line next to it. Let's go thick. And then we'll see what we do thin wise. I'm trying to just get the very edge. And I don't have the lightest hand, but hopefully this will help you all compare the two if you're considering either one of these brushes. Here is the silver black velvet. Let's try to go thin with the line. And I'll try to do another thin one. They both hold uh, water and pigment quite well. Let's see if I can go super thin. There you go, that's a thin line. So let me hold both up to the camera. Um, this paper, they're both 100% cotton. This is the Stonehenge Aqua. This is um, Fabriano, I believe, 100% cotton. And holding them up so you can compare the line thicknesses. I think with the Master Touch, I was able to get a thinner line, maybe because it's a brand new brush. And also I'm just trying extra hard to just try to use the very tippy tip of it. Yeah, 
and how it'll be in the long run. I really don't know. This is kind of just like an initial impression. And I'll tell you right now, I really love my silver black velvet brushes. So I have been looking for something to potentially be thinner. And I'll hold that close and see if you can tell the difference between those two lines. Sorry about the, um, the unfocused. But I guess I'll let you all decide and see what you all think. Um, then one last thing that may help is just to kind of see how it is flicking. I can definitely feel that this one holds a lot more water, this silver black velvet. So I think it's the natural squirrel aspect. This is back to the master touch. That's a lot of water too. So for right now, they seem comparable. How they'll last in the long run and how they'll be quality wise. I don't know, but I hope you enjoyed and uh, hopefully that'll help you uh, decide on what art tools you want to add to your collection. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a good day.